So this is my video on a conversion from throttle body injection to carburation on a 1990 Chevrolet 350 5.7 liter and a C1500 four wheel drive. The intake is an Edelbrock 2104 intake and it's designed to bolt into the, the heads that are existing on your engine. This is a fairly simple swap. However, um, depending on what transmission you have, it can get more complicated. If you have the older 700R transmission, you can tell by the detent cable right here under the throttle cable. If yours does not have this detent cable or v, uh, VT cable, then you have the computer controlled transmission and it can give you a lot more problems than the older 700R. This is a stock. Um, GM HEI distributor it has built-in coil fairly simple to wire up you just run a power wire from your old coil to the power wire it says battery on the distributor top and then the plug that come off of your four pin plug that come off of your other distributor you see it here has four wires on it there is a purple wire with white stripe that you've got to hook up you'll have to extend it and connect it to the tack port on the distributor what this does is it energizes your fuel pump when you turn your key on your fuel pump energizes for a second or two then it cuts off with the carburetor your fuel bowl will fill up with fuel during that three seconds but then you'll experience it shutting off and running out of fuel so you have to connect that wire from the old distributor to the tack port on the new distributor so that while the engine is running the fuel pump is energized not just the initial priming of the electric fuel pump that occurs when you turn the key on other than that you can use the factory temperature sensor and all the other electronics the throttle position sensor the map sensor all the other electronics can come off I would not recommend cutting your wires until you've run your setup for a while and make sure that everything's going to run like it should. Like I said, this is a very simple setup. Um, another thing you have to do because of the fuel injection, you have a little bit higher fuel pressure than a carburetor can stand. So you have to install a fuel pressure regulator. This is a hollow unit. It has an input and an output and also has a return line. You have two lines on your throttle body, two steel lines, one's a pressure line and one's a return line to the fuel tank. You'll cut off those uh, steel lines and, and splice them into your fuel regulator and then you can control the pressure. Your, your carburetor only needs somewhere between three to six PSI. Any more and you'll overpower the float seats in the uh, um, carburetor. So if you follow these few simple steps, take your time, uh, this will be a lot, go real easy on you. Um, it's a good conversion. Um, a lot of these older TBIs start having wiring issues and you chase phantom problems forever and just can't, changing sensors doesn't fix the problem. Changing throttle body doesn't fix the problem. So go to tried and true mechanical principles and you can't go wrong. Uh, you have a good motor, but your electronics suck. That's just what it comes down to. Um, fuel injection is a lot more dependable and, and uh, these days, this was the infam infamacy of, of production line fuel injection and uh, you know, it worked good for a while but then uh, they're getting age on them. And uh, like I said, one little skimp wiring a wiring harness or something like that can drive you nuts and not be able to find it without uh, doing a lot of work and on an old truck like this just use it for hunting and around the farm a carburetor and and old HEI distributor will do just fine and you'll have plenty of power back you'll have it'll run smooth it'll idle smooth and none of that chasing idle and and uh, the computer adjusting your ignition and fuel mixture all over the place on a regular basis if you have any questions leave comments below I'd be glad to answer them Thank you for watching.